we're here in the backyard of Elwyn and Evelyn Hoffen and outside of Alva. And Evelyn, you have a beautiful backyard. It looks like one oh, of your oasis you. here. And I love the sunken garden. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, this sunken garden happened as a result of having a swimming pool uh, below ground when the children were at home, uh -huh. Brian, Brent, and Brad. And when they got married and moved away, we decided that that was too much work for mom and dad. Okay. So we turned the sunken uh, swimming area into our garden area wow. with a patio that we could enjoy the family in a new way. Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. I love how you transform that into an, a functional space for your family. Yes. And you even put rocks in it and stuff? We did, and uh, my husband and I and our three sons poured all of that concrete with an electric mixer. So, wow. um, Blood, sweat, it was, and tears in that garden right it there. It was, <laughs> it was, but it was enjoyable. Very and it nice. was fun. And that's what part of gardening is all about, is to enjoy your family. Yeah. And yeah. so we, we thoroughly enjoyed that. Well, it looks like you have a lot of seating area around here and you might enjoy yes. entertaining a little bit. We do. So, a lot. <laughs> let, let's talk a little bit about the plants. I, I saw some French hollyhocks that you have. Yes. Is that one of your favorites? That is a favorite of mine. Um, and I like uh, Angelinos, mm -hmm. which is the purple flower yeah. that is always forgiving and blooming all the time. It, it keeps coming back, doesn't it? Keeps it keeps coming back, yes. So this is an interesting rock feature here in your garden. Can you tell me a little yes, bit about that? Yes, that was a rock that was on my father's uh, pasture. And so these particular Ising glasses is what was used. The pioneers used these as windows in oh their goodness. old cabins and things. And you can see through that glass. Yeah. So we were fortunate to have glass today. But back then they used the Ising glass. And, That's amazing. Um, and you can see how it makes sheets almost, yes. so that it breaks apart that way. It does. So the, you do a lot of container gardening, it looks like, also. I do. I enjoy uh, the container gardening because you can sit on your stool and roll around and uh, take care of your garden. Okay. And do you have some helpers that help I, with this container gardening? I do. My husband helps me a lot and my children and grandchildren because they are a part of our gardening. Mm -hmm. And my desire and dream was that we would instill in them the love of gardening. Our youngest grandchildren planted, they went to the greenhouse and picked out the flowers in both of these pots and then planted them. And they're responsible for watering them. Oh, very nice. So that's... They, it teaches them responsibility. Absolutely. And, well, cause and effect if you don't water that's it. That's right, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> so have you always been a gardener or how did you get into gardening? Not always. As a child growing up, we had the old push mowers and the little hand clippers. <laughs> and I thought, if that's gardening, I want no part of it. Uh -huh. And so, um, my husband, when we got married in 71, said, oh, honey, there's so much more to gardening <laughs> than that. So he taught me how to work with a garden, plant flowers, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Well, you've done a fabulous job. Oh, and it, thank you. It looks like not only do you do ornamental gardening, but you also have a nice sized vegetable garden back here oh, as well. Oh, thank you. Yes, we enjoy the vegetables, tomatoes and onions, eggplants, uh, squash, all kinds of peppers watermelon and um, it's it's an art of love that we enjoy fresh and some herbs yeah. we do uh, parsley and cilantro and and various herbs as well so you have coffee cans around your plants can you tell me a little bit about why you did that yes take the bottoms out of uh, the coffee cans and put them down in the ground and then when you water you're able to water just the can and not the weeds that want to grow to the side. Oh, okay. And it gets right down to the root system yeah. and then put the dirt around them as much as you can and mulch them and that helps uh, preserve the moisture. Yeah, it probably protects from a few insects also it does. getting in at the stems. It does. And this spring I released 3,000 3, um, ladybugs oh, wow. into the garden right. because they are avid aphid they are. eaters. <laughs> Correct, yeah, and I, and I bet your grandkids love seeing oh, those as we well. we had a release garden. night, and they thought it was the most amazing thing they'd ever seen. That's fantastic. In fact, they were a little bit scared because as you release them, they come up on your arm, and uh, 
then they realized they wouldn't bite, that it was yeah. a safe one. Uh, so it's, um, I've done that for several years now and it helps a lot. Well, Evelyn, it just really seems like a nice sanctuary that you've created back here and we appreciate you sharing it with us. Well, thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.